Oh, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you. Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now, we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it, either. Oh! Hey there! Prince! Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This'll make sure y'all don't get lost. Might as well make good use of the extra time. Whoa! They got Ebony out here! Oh, Ignis is gonna flip! Wait, uh, I had it! A moment, knocked. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down, and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? Hate to ask, but could we borrow some cash? Now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was going to teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? All according to Sid's plan. I say we play along and teach him not to underestimate us. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, this ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though. Don't tell Papa. Looks like we found our first targets. Ready, knocked. What happened here? The telegraph pole's been split in two. And not just this one, either. The hell do you think did this? Hard to say. Natural disaster, perhaps? You sure? The hammerhead doesn't have a scratch on it. Maybe a huge monster came and knocked him down. It better not be the varmint Cindy was talking about.
They aren't gonna know what hit them. Let's do this. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. See ya. Don't you ever heard? See ya. The best offense is your defense. Let's get on with it. So, uh, where are we headed anyway? Nowhere until the repairs are done. Then we head for Golden Key. Then after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. Got it. Almost there. Give it your all. That's great, cause I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Oh, got it. We'll take a look. So, what did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. What's this? Knocked! Get out of here! You okay? We are now. Spoke too soon. Remember, just a spot of up. Easy as they come. And on we go. Yep. Hey, what about the shack over there? Not yet. Got a plan. Huh. What are we... Look at that. This creature is known as a saber tusk. Yeah. It skewers prey with its tusks. Yeah. Extracting gain from the safety and comfort of the That's a bit heartless. Hey, who's out there? Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? <laughs> Been looking for you. Didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. 
Yeah, something funny about them barmits. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Ah, uh, yeah. We'll take care of it. Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw them. Way to show some spunk. Now let's get ready to kick some tail. wise to rest up before we set out. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. The hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? So they're the new Crowns Guard or something? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Uh, is it cool that we rock Crowns Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made him especially for us. Even got a sweet insignia on him. In the Crown's Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it with pride. You want to make camp? Let's call it a day. All right. I'm gonna pitch the tent. Perfect timing. <laughs> like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. But like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid will stuff his wrench with a sun don't shine. Take care of the car and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car. Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was even better.
over there. That's it, right? Huh. That's a dual horn? Yes, but not your run-of-the-mill breed. We best make quick work of it. Wait a sec. Uh, what? Scared, big guy? You ought to be too. Things vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> yeah! Show those oh, Nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> to it. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Okay. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the legroom in back. So far, man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Ugh. Pretend you're walking to the car. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? A live hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. It would explain its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. Stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for it? Oh, no, oh, I mean, uh, welcome. Wanna go check it out? What is it? Take your pick. If y'all liked it, come on back. about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back. We should all get a picture with her.
all the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Not sure I've got what it takes. I see. Then allow me to take the wheel. Gotcha. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. Hey, Prince, mind if I borrow the old girl for a hot second? I just had a doozy of an idea. You're gonna love it. Promise. Well, here she is. Now y'all won't need to pay the roads. No, never mind. After all, limits were only made to be broken. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. Cindy, you have seriously outdone yourself. Yeah, never thought I'd see the day. And yet, here we are. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's take your first spin. Hammerhead is like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. Ah. <sighs> I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. Huh? There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! Huh. Uh, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the Crown City, I think I'd better score my own wheels. If you wish to put on weight, certainly. Yeah, I know. You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll take it out of the trunk so you all just sit tight. Hmm? Uh, Umbra. Bringing us stuff. Had a boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? <sighs> Just a sec. Nice flower. 
It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So, hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <laughs>